what is up guys it's me boy kwis and we are back again with another video and before we begin i do have to quickly apologize to you guys um i know my upload and stream schedule over this past few days hasn't been the best i'm typically a daily uploader or every other day but i know you guys hate when i apologize as well but I, it's who i am i have to do it i'm sorry i do apologize um it's just been a bit hectic around in life that's just the way life goes so i do apologize for that i'm moving swiftly on because i know you guys hate when i apologize and some of you guys don't even care you're just happy you're getting a video today we're back again with another video we're gonna be talking again you guys seem to like the last discussion topic and i you know i give the people what they want um oh, and also to make up for it um the horror combo guide will be dropping within the next two days and then i have a lot of other stuff coming as well and this weekend i will be doing um view battles and sub battles etc etc so that's my little sorry sorry but again discussion video today because you guys seem to like the last one talking about whoring however i think some people missed the point and i, I knew it would happen there were people who clearly didn't watch the video and just left a comment anyway so hopefully the same thing doesn't happen here with this discussion video and as you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about a bit of the negatives when it comes to tekken 8 now i don't want this to, to feel like a pylon tekken 8 party um, also, the timing of this video, I do think is fantastic because I think other content creators have been doing their own Tekken 8 isn't great videos right now, right? And I guess maybe this video is sort of inspired by that, um, but I kind of want to talk about it from my perspective as a competitive player that is looking to be competing very soon uh, because Tekken World Tour has been announced. You know, I, I might even be going to Canada for Electric Clash, the first Tekken World Tour tournament this year. Um, I don't know, I really just want to start competing as soon as possible. And always, like, I'm looking to be sponsored again. I'm looking to be back on the team. So I feel like if teams aren't approaching me now, I need to give them a reason to approach me. And that is to go and compete in tournament and do the thing that I always do. And also, I don't want this all to, to be labeled as, like, some kind of, like, war on some Tekken 8 hate bandwagon, right? Um, I think I still very... I want to preface this video by saying I'm still very, very, very much enjoying the game um i love streaming it i love playing the game um i think they've done a fantastic job with most of most of the game they've incorporated completely new things with the heat system etc etc so obviously they're not going to get it right straight away there was no arcade release to sort of test things before the game came out to the wider public so on the whole i have i'm having a very good time with tekken 8 um i just think there are some things and when it comes down to it i do have issues with and i guess the biggest thing i have an issue with the game right now and we're going to talk about i just heat in general um by and large like i said it's a completely new system um a resource to manage something that tekken has never really done before in this manner um and for the most part i think they've done a decent job the way you access heat etc etc i think it's fine the way it works in combos whatever i think that is fine um i think it's just over tuned um i think my main issues of heat is to we'll talk about heat burst and heat smashes right i think well actually i did talk about heat and combos i think heat and combos is also crazy as well um because i play against jod quite a lot in ranked nina player very good player one of your Euro europe's finest you know um however when i get launched and he has heat and i have say 60 to 70 percent of my life left um, I typically assume that I'm dead because of the combos that Nina can do with heat into heat burst uh, into the heat dash and then the follow up hit from there. Um, yeah, I think something needs to be done about that. And I think a lot of characters like Huang himself, he can do it as well. Backlash into heat burst into heat dash and then crouch dash three or running three. Um, like there's, you know, I think a lot of characters do that in this game. And I think it just makes... I don't know i think that is something that is just so insane i think in this game like combo damage being so high with the use of heat as a one-time combo extended thing right um but when that i mean and also that's just an issue with heat burst in general in my opinion i think heat burst is something that i have never really liked from the first beta when i ever played this game um heat burst is just something i'm just not a fan of at all um it stops the game dead its range is ridiculous it's homing uh the new added power crush on it like the new armor and it doesn't really matter anyway because if you interrupt heat you know you're not gonna like if you try and interrupt heat if you expect a heat burst and you do a low sometimes the heat burst is most of the time actually the heat burst is fast enough to interrupt so you tr you reading heat burst doesn't even matter i can't explain to you guys how satisfied i am 
when I read a heat burst and I do a throw and it actually works because there are so many times where it just doesn't like the heat was so fast even though I read it even though I was plus and I did a throw heat burst was still too fast for me to do anything about um I think it's such an issue in this game um I think the major ways to tone it down is it's it's homing like it should not be homing number one because there are times because here's the thing I, i'm sure all of you guys that have been playing tekken 8 have experienced interaction where you do a heat burst and then they do a heat burst right back and there's pretty much nothing you can do about it like once you've done your heat burst you like i've literally done situation been in a game where i do a heat burst i'll back dash as fast as i can because i know the heat burst is coming but with the range it still connects and i think that's another thing that needs to be nerfed on heat burst definitely its range is way too much um you see way too much is that a correct sentence i put together there who knows um anyway you see it connect from basically full screen sometimes it connects where it doesn't even look like it should connect you know it messes up my spacing for with punishment and i think its range is insane i think the re the reason its range is the way it is is for the combos that you see like heat burst lands from very 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 far away and that might mess up combos for a few characters but for me by and large i think they just need to tone that those two things and i'll have less of an issue with heat burst i think also how fast it starts up is also an issue but if I can call it out with a good sidewalk, if I can call it out with good movement with backdashing, I'll have such a less issue. I'll have such a smaller issue with it, excuse me. But that is one of my, my main issues. And then talking about heat, talking about the heat mechanics and stuff. Like some characters, when they do into heat, they become such an issue. You know, I think they just, they can be doing too much all on the screen, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I think that's more of a specific video to talk about one-to-one -one this character in heat, et cetera, et cetera. I think the, the the examples are too varied um, and in some cases too extreme to really go over really short here in a video. Um, but heat smashes is another thing I have such an issue with this game. And I just think the number one way to tone down it, the number one way that you fix heat smashes. And I've seen so many people say this already. I'm not the first person to say it, but I, I had this idea all on my own because other people had this idea all on their own because it feels so simple to me is let me power crush through heat smashes if i read that a heat smash is going to come and i do a power crush but like i should be able to do something because i think there's too many situations in tekken 8 uh where you know something is going to happen but you do not have an answer to it at all for example you guys have been in the situation i'm sure you're playing against devil jin he has entered heat his heat meter is winding down. You're sitting at range two, range three, range four, range five. And you know that he is going to heat smash because there's nothing else he can do. There's nothing else he'll do that will reach you. There's nothing else he can do in that situation. He has to spend his heat somehow, some way. And he does it. And then cool, you've blocked it. Now you've entered another 50 50 situation. Okay, he's done the mid plus on block and now you've entered another 50 50 situation you guys get what i'm saying with that right it's such an issue but same situation against devil jin range three range four range five you're sitting there he's got to do his heat burst i uh, sorry he's got to do his heat smash he's gonna do it he has to do it i'm gonna power crush through it i power crush i make the right read i beat it congratulations you know like, and again jun is very much the same jack is very much the same i think jack and zafina are are similar is i think zafina's is 12 frames and jack's is 10 frames which is insane however those are both highs and i have called out with hard ducking before and then punished from there so they are less of a problem to me but still an issue because they are very fast and the, the range is insane for zafina's but by and large i think jun is another example let me power crush through it um i i see no issue because to me they're essentially rage drives right they rage if you guys remember tekken 7 tekken 7 rage drives were a bit insane like steve's uh sonic fang full screen etc so if you read it beat it with a power crush you know it's and again it's not like it's just uh it's not like it's just a brainless throw it out hopefully it works type thing right like you can get punished hard for doing a power crush so again it is a read that takes risk and doesn't you guys hear what i'm saying just let me power crush through uh heat smashes i see absolutely nothing wrong with it 
if you guys can think of any downside like there's any reason you shouldn't be able to power crash through a heat smash like i would love to hear it because i just don't see any reason not to right and then obviously with low heat smashes still existing and some heat smashes being command throws like devil gins those are options that will not win when it comes to a power crash right so again it's like it's not like it, it's a catch-all beat every heat smash type thing right it just gives me something as an option to deal with this very 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 oppressive tool that some characters have but by and large those are like that's like my main like i think we've got like my biggest issues with tekken 8 gameplay like out of the way right um i think by and large i enjoy playing this game yes some characters are unfun to play against dragonov ling uh etc jun from time to time but i have less of an issue with jun these days but reyna etc etc like you know but that's just like balancing over time again this is the first iteration of the game that's been released to the public there was no arcade release they are you know doing things as they go working through it etc etc so again i'm way more lenient when it comes to that and again i don't know if i said this before but i think it's very important for people in my position to like give this type of criticism right because hopefully you know uh the people in charge of the technical team do pay attention to this type of stuff they do see constructive criticism and they take that feedback and they go from there, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I do feel like it is important to, because again, I feel like I've been singing this game's praises um, as much as you, as anyone right now. I think it's important to also be very honest when the time comes, because hopefully it leads to them curating a better experience for everyone in the future, right? And speaking of curating a better experience for everyone, um, I think one thing that has been something you cannot ignore when it comes to Tekken 8 is the amount of plugging uh, and disconnecting that to there has been now this is a very interesting subject because first and foremost there was not this much plugging in Tekken 7 I have to say did not deal with it anywhere near as much very like I just did not um in this game it's been way 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 too much right um and even in my position because people plug on me less because I'm a streamer I'm streaming the game a lot of viewers watching they're less likely to plug simply because you know there's that audience watching right um but some people have been serial pluggers against me when i've been playing which i think is insane um they do not they do not care they don't they just do it you know they're just gonna plug because there was no penalty for doing so which in tekken 7 there wasn't a penalty anyway the only thing that happened is you had a disconnect rate that went up and that does not happen in this game there is a disconnect rate however it does not go up it seems to be bugged so that's something they need to to fix um so as of right now there is zero penalty for plugging in tekken 8 however there was recently a wave of bands they said that did go out and some pluggers and undesirables have apparently been banned um i don't know if you guys saw but low tier god got banned very 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 funny for me to see also fari balls very prolific tekken cheater over the years someone who streams the game while cheating his account actually did get banned. However, it seems he made a new account and is playing on that now. So I don't know how, um, but hopefully that's a very simple. He's on this new account. Cool. We get that ban him. Great. But yeah, I think the lack of, I don't like, this has been an ongoing issue with Tekken since I've been in the community, right? Just the amount of cheaters and, you know, this, this plugging, et cetera, et cetera, just go, seems to go unpunished is insane to me. Um, I think there is no anti-cheat in the game. I'm going to assume there must be a reason for it. It might do something to the frames or, you know, bog down the, the size of the game or except, yeah, you know, I feel like there must be a reason for it. Um, I also think it's strange that there's the report feature in game, but they also want us to like, make tweets with Tekken 8 report, calling out pluggers, um, et cetera, et cetera. And again, I think they've done that just to make sure they can catch repeat offenders um so they don't catch someone who maybe accidentally plugged once or their internet went out randomly or because these type of, types of things do happen because i think banning people for rage quitting um is kind of mad when i look at it on like the grand scheme of things um however i think in a game where there's no reward for being a uh, rage quitted on i can understand because for example you know i played a lot of eafc i don't know why i said that fifa i played a lot of fifa um over the past few months and if someone rage quits on you uh while you're up cool you get the win you know um so in tekken it should just be the same thing someone plugs in you, you get the win continue on with your day so i have no idea why that's not a thing in the game and i think the last thing i really want to touch on 
as a problem when it comes down to this game um, is the inputs and this might be a thing that less people experience and may not be able to relate to as much as some of the other things i mentioned um but the inputs in this game are de very frustrating um they so so uh, so i can't even collect my thoughts when just thinking about the things that can happen in this game sometimes um so for example um there have been multiple times in this game um where i have done something and i've been playing tekken for a very 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 long time i know my inputs i know when i've done something and i know when i have not done something um and for example i will do something like one two into flamingo stance and but i will do the one two and for some reason my flamingo stance doesn't come out i have no reason why. i don't understand why i go and check the input and then something weird comes out that i didn't even do um and that has that is just a very small example but like i think you see it the most like with the blocking sometimes in this game um for example if you block after a heat engage situation or a heat dash situation if you are not hugging your back button or hugging block if you are not absolutely putting every bit of force and pressure you have on block you are going to get hit by everything every high mid or low that they do you are going to get hit by it and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it if you are not hugging back if you are not absolutely holding it with 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 with, with severe intention to survive you are going to get hit uh that's something i noticed um also dash blocking in this game another thing that sucks really bad um i i assume that's also to do with the nerf to neutral blocking but like yeah that's just something that comes with the inputs in this game just being so strange from time to time and i don't have many examples off the top of my head um but i just when it happens like like the next time it happens i'll let you guys know because it will surely happen it happens every single time i play this game like i just get something weird um for example another example is when i'm doing combos with victor um he has a down back one one input in his combo that he does and sometimes i just get this That's single down back one i'll check my input after the match and i did do down back one one but for some reason it just did not come out and yeah there's just a lot of input issues that happen in this game and i like to include that in this video because sometimes when i talk about inputs going wrong uh someone like reaches out or like leaves a comment and like, oh my god i thought it was just me whatever like i'm here to let you guys know you are not crazy there there is something wrong with the inputs in this game you're not crazy there's something going on um hopefully they get that fixed sounds like a bit more of a complex issue than the other ones but yeah that is something that definitely uh sort of grinds my gears when it comes to this game to be honest um but for the most part like i have to say i'll say it again because i don't want to because i don't want to come across as some kind of negative contrarian tekken it sucks um because this game is amazing have a fantastic time with it um i'm probably gonna do a video like this but just talking about the stuff i love about tekken to be honest because there's just so much like one thing i just want like off the top i'm gonna mention i i don't think i've mentioned this yet in any video but i've talked about sometimes in streams one thing they've done a fantastic job with it with in this game is making me want to play other characters i maybe have never played before um that is something they've done a great job in this game like, i really want to be playing a lot of the characters in this game and that is something like i i was listen i wanted to play Alyssa the other day and if you know me that is a character i never had any inkling inclination desire to play in my life never wanted to play Alyssa. Not and not out of like, any kind of hatred for the character or just like I despise this as a character or the way she plays, etc. etc. It is a bad matchup for Horang, but other than that, nothing to really say about Alyssa. Um but just a character I've never really wanted to play. And just something about I don't know, like her I find her personality in this game really funny. Um I think she seems very like whimsical and like when she does like that that wall combo when she does like her combo and she jumps in the air, she's like, ah, but no! And stuff like she seems like she's having a great time and i want to have a great time um and yeah just stuff like that's i like yeah that just lets you know that i want to be playing a lot of characters in this game that normally i would not even think about touching right um and that comes down to like they've done a great job with some of the new designs of this game some way all of these characters play but like yeah big fan of a lot of that stuff um yeah this is just a little 
I don't know. Sometimes I need you need to get out the negative, fl flush out and cleanse the negativity from your body, and then all that is left is the positivity, and that is the positivity of Taconate, and that is the positivity of Kwis. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one.